Hey guys, it's uh, John Barnes. I haven't recorded anything on YouTube for uh, quite a few years. And I'm uh, thinking about getting back into it. Um, there's something I'd like to show today. And if you find it interesting, uh, drop me a line and let me know that you're watching. And if you are, I'll continue to make content. But the other day, I was um, in the software and I went to create a new part file. And the option was, uh, I guess it wasn't here, it was probably starting a, a new part file. Um, maybe it's here. Yeah, here it is, the color, color sets example. So I thought, I wonder what that is. So I went into it and it had all these um, color sets ready to go. They were just named like, uh, I don't know, set one through 10 or something like that. So I went ahead and gave them appropriate names and I assigned the colors to some geometry on a block. And in this job, I've got four inserts and I've got to do it four times, right? So. I found a really easy way to accomplish this and I'd like to share it with you. So I'm going to activate the one that needs to be colored and when I go to the sets tab you'll see there's nothing there but if I right click and choose load sets I can go and get that file that was the B side cavity block one it brings in all the sets and then I've got this uh, reference right in front of me so I can while I'm active in this block I can still use the color dropper and pick up colors over here set my filter to holes and quickly pick these guys and color it accordingly so we're going to do this a couple of times. We're going to go into the color dropper, pick up that. Pick these ones and then apply. <clears throat> and you'll see this goes pretty fast. I don't think that's the right color. Let me make sure here. Pick up this color and then apply it. Okay. And we got two more. So now we'll do this one next. and pick up this color I don't think that worked or maybe that's not the right color this probably is the one that was broken last time uh, so let me do this real quick I'm going to activate that component I'm going to set the filter to select by hole and then I'm going to go over here to the drop down for the colors. And here's the same set colors that we see over here in the sets menu. And this is the one that uh, needs to be set to. Uh, so I don't think I had that one assigned properly. Now we're going to bounce back over here. Activate this block. Uh, set the filter by hole 
and apply the color. Okay. And then we've got to do the water circuit. So I'm going to pick the color dropper. Pick the water circuit. All right, and now we want to do this one. <clears throat> so we come over here, we pick up that color. We're going to change the filter now to expand to smooth and a couple of picks will get us all the way around. small one and do this one next pick up that color expand to smooth okay and Let's turn off some of these things now. Okay, so I've only got like two groups left. I got the brown faces and the part faces. So for the brown faces, we'll do it a different way. I'm going to pick one of the brown faces and then set a mask so by setting this mask it's only going to pick other brown faces and I pick up the color dropper grab that gray and then apply it now I can turn that group off and all that's left is the part faces and I don't have to really do anything special there except look at that I can't pick it because the color mask is on so you have to remember to turn that one off and I don't want my UCS being picked that'd be sloppy so I'm turning off uh, datums box pick get the color dropper get that turquoise color and apply it so that quickly, we were able to uh, assign all these faces by loading the sets and quickly applying the colors. And it's pretty fast. And then let's do one more thing. I still need a ID pad. So the way I've been handling that is I activate the assembly, I choose on assembly, add a duplicate, I'm going to go get my engraving pocket, place it on face, I'm letting that constraint light up so that I'm constrained to X0, and then I'm going to dimension it. rotate it yeah and I also have to rotate it in Y too I don't think I built this correctly but that's facing down into it and if I show you the leading dimensions you'll see that I can change the um, corner radiuses the depth of cut, the length, and the width very quickly and easily. And we're going to do it with cut. Okay. So here's the cut. 
and this time we're going to use the filter by pocket so one pick on the face it gets everything we do the color dropper pick up that one apply it now I'm ready to put the um, text on so we're going to activate this one go to the features text edit Control C to copy. You might notice that I'm using a 0.8 character spacing and a 0.8 line spacing for the standard Western font, just thick font, so that we can machine it easily. I'm just going to cancel out of here, then go back to this one. Oops, deselect. All right, and before I place that text, I'm going to draw a little line. Um, I want to go to the midpoint. Sixty thousandths out, and then I go to text. Control V. And I think this is block four, if I'm not mistaken. it at 90 degrees yep that's black four okay and <clears throat> you'll notice I got commas <clears throat> excuse me commas in here because this the spacing becomes a bit too much <clears throat> excuse me so I'm gonna delete these commas <clears throat> by right clicking and choose remove geometry and then set the filter to not look at composites so I can pick just these individual lines ah whoops let's see what I did there we want the composites off I think what it was is that was pre-selected. Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing from Yeah, sometimes I switch to wireframe to get a better view of what's going on. change that to be red and give it a two pixel line font <clears throat> and then you'll see that that will automatically join the set here for engraving and that's because that sets looking for the color red with wireframe entities And then, of course, the engraving pad is even there. So in the NC template, I can have the NC picking up that set for the surfaces to machine, that set for the curves to be picked for engraving, and I'm going to automate the NC templates. And that can also help with the other holes here, too. Obviously, we can have the templates looking for certain colors to do certain actions. So if you enjoyed this little tip for today, send me a note and I'll keep making more videos. Thanks. Have a good day.